Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to back up your Google Cloud Minecraft server world and also how to change its version. So currently the latest version is 1.15.2 and when the new 1.16 update never comes out you want to be able to play in that. So I'm going to be showing you how to update your world to 1.16 and or other versions of Minecraft and how to back up your world in case you want to play on snapshots or in case you just want to be extra secure and that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode and for today's episode we need a few apps on your computer so here is the SSH here and as you can see here's the Minecraft server on Google Cloud here so what you want to do, links will be down in the description, you need Putty and download this here. Uh, if you have a 64-bit, download this. If you have a 32-bit, install this. And also you will need FileZilla and download this if you have Windows and more versions are down here if you have any other version other than that. So, once you have those two apps, let's get started straight into this tutorial. So, once you have FileZilla installed, it should look something like this. And the next app that we installed was Putty. And Putty comes with two things, Putty and Putty Gen. And we want to type to search down here at the bottom, Putty, Putty Gen. And this thing should come up and you open this up and it's putty key generator and we just want to this is how we're gonna get into the files of your Minecraft server so what you want to do you want to just hit generate here and this is just gonna generate up a key here and this is the key that we need so first of all we can save it as a private key and this is gonna come up don't worry about that it's not going to worry at all. And you can name this anything you like. I'm going to call it anything just because. And then go over to FileZilla and click edit. And then down to settings. And then go to SFTP. And then add key file. And then look down here for your thing. And anything is right here. Yours might be down here or wherever yours is but mine was there and then once you're done you hit OK now once you've got that you want to get your key comment copy that and that's going to be our username and then in the host down here it says SFTP so we're going to type that SFTP that two dots and forward slash forward slash and then get your IP from your Minecraft server here which should be here your external IP and copy that minimize that and then there we go we are not done yet so don't worry about that let's go back here let's make this a bit smaller again hide this panel and we need to go to Compute Engine and then Metadata down here. And then go to SSH Keys. And then here we see all of these keys that I already have. You might not have any here, but I have a few here. So you want to click Edit and then Add an Item. And then add a public SSH key here. So what you want to do, you want to go over back to your putty gen and just copy this whole thing. Command C and then there and then click save and then your thing should be loaded and ready to access into this Google Cloud so we can close this app over there and put that there and then we've got that we've got that no password and no port is needed but first we need to go into the SSH and allow FileZilla to access the files so all you need to do is open your SSH so now we have the SSH open what you want to do 
you just want to get the command from the description right there and click enter this will allow us to access the files which are in the home directory and if you click enter and there's no things that's good so now let's continue and then you just click quick connect this should come up and just click OK and then here we are successfully gone into our files and you should come up like this all you got to do go to home and then there's your Minecraft server files right there which we created last episode of this channel so here's your Minecraft and here's your world files and all of that if you want to back up your world all you got to do you just know what world you're playing on so there might be two worlds there might be more than that there might just be one world the default world is called world and then if you've created another world with a custom seed like I've done here mine is named Joe so if you want to download your world and back it up all you got to do is click download and then it's just gonna transfer all of your stuff to your documents folder on your computer which is gonna be in this file manager here so while that's downloading we are backing up the servers world here we can update the server to the latest snapshot for example so what you want to do head over to the description of the video and find mcversions.net and let's go to 20w18a let's click download and instead of doing this we're going to download this fully and we're not going to be copying the link we're just going to be downloading and as you saw just then it's fully completed and fully transferred now this is downloaded here just drag that to our desktop there we can exit out of this and here so now that server.jar is there and we should have another server.jar here and this is our 20w 18a and this is our 1.15.2 all right now that we have our server on the desktop here we need to just click on this and delete here remove it and then just add it and it might take a long while because it's a bit of a big file here and it's got 12 10 seconds left and that's going on to this thing here now so once this loads up as you can see server.jar is back here again and the next time you load up your server it might just take a little while to log in and do all of that stuff so now you got that you can delete this file because it is on the server fully now and also you can upload a server icon if you want all you need to do is get any photo and shrink it down using a shrinker on google or something and you need to just shrink it down to 64 by 64 pixels and then rename it to server-icon.png and then you can just upload it straight in here and as you can see i've done that before or you can do it as a mediafire link and do wget and the link to that and it'll install it there that would be if you're using it through the SSH. I hope you have learnt something today using this FileZilla and Putty Key Generator. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments. That is going to be all from me today. I hope you have a good one. See you later and goodbye.